G'day. Today I'm just going to talk about how I've created this pond in an old wine barrel. This is a bit different to my previous barrel ponds as this one has no pump or any water movement at all. I'm trialling some different things with this pond so as we go through I'll try and explain why I've done what I've done. Then if it works great it can be recreated and if it's a flop you can avoid my mistakes. So let's get into it. G'day, my name is Kev. The purpose of my channel and website is to help people build and maintain ponds without spending a fortune. If that sounds like something that interests you, please like and subscribe. So it starts off with just a regular old wine barrel. You'll usually see them advertised for around a hundred bucks for a full barrel. Uh, this is one I just cut in half. At first it will leak, but as the wood gets wet, it'll expand and seal any gaps. So no need to try and seal it. Uh, that is provided it's a proper wine, whiskey or whatever barrel. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is create a false bottom in this pond. To do this, I have these funny looking tube things and some 20 mil or three quarter inch drainage stones. This stuff is used in aquaculture as a biological filter. And while it will provide some surface area for good bacteria in this pond, I'm using it to create a void or false bottom. Plus I had it left over from an old aquaponics system, so I might as well use it up. The reason for the void area is to allow water to move down through and up through the gravel, much as it would in a natural environment. If the gravel sits directly on the base of the barrel, the very bottom can become anaerobic, especially in a situation like this where I'm not using any pumps to aid in water movement. So to keep the water being able to move through the gravel, we add the false bottom. Uh, old school aquarium keepers have been doing this for years. So you could use anything you like to create the false bottom. Uh, these aquarium plates are pretty cheap. Anyway, I had these funny aquaculture tubes, so that's what I'm using. I just cut them down to size and layered them in. It shouldn't matter if you can't get all the way to the edges, just get the majority of the floor covered. Then I just added the 20 mil or three quarter inch drainage rock over the top. The layer I put on is about five centimetres or two inches thick. Then I got some other drainage rock. This stuff's smaller, this is seven mil. Uh, I guess that's like a quarter inch. And I put another two and a half to three centimetres of that over the top. So about another inch over the top. Then I added the water, <laughs> which of course leaked everywhere until the wood swelled and it stopped. That took about three days. You can speed up the process by keeping the barrel wet for a week or so before you go to fill it or build the pond. Anyway, once I added the water, then I added some plants. I've got some eelgrass, which is a good submerged plant, so it's gonna help add oxygen into the water and it grows well in my climate. I also have some water fringe. It's like a mini water lily with a little yellow flower. It's quite vigorous, so it should be good at absorbing nutrients. And then I added some tassel cordrush. This is one of my favorite pond plants. It has soft foliage and it isn't as aggressive as normal rushes. So all of those three plants are going directly into the gravel. And then I added a water lily in an anoxic filter basket. I do have a video where I try and explain an anoxic basket, so I'm not gonna do that here. If you wanna hear a more in-depth explanation of how it works, I'll leave a link to that video down in the description. For this video, I'll just quickly show how it's made and give a brief overview. So first thing you'll need is a lily basket, the mesh type one that will allow water to penetrate from every surface and angle. Then some non-clumping straight clay kitty litter with no additives. 
a source of iron. I'm using palignite. Laterite is usually what's recommended. And of course your water lily to plant in the basket. First all you do is half fill the basket with the kitty litter. Then add about half a cup or so of the iron sauce. Place in the water lily and then backfill with more of the kitty litter. I leave a bit of room on the surface to add some gravel over the top just to hold everything in place. The basic gist of the basket is that ammonia is drawn in and then processed by bacteria. The conversion of the ammonia into a nitrogen gas is what keeps the pond safe for the fish. <laughs> That's a very oversimplified version. Uh, like I said, if you want to learn more, I'll link the more in-depth video in the description. So then I just filled up the barrel all the way uh, and waited a few weeks before adding some white cloud mountain minnows and some rice fish. At the moment everything seems good but let's give it a few months before we know for sure. So that's it for this video. I'll leave a little bit of footage of just the fish swimming around in there. Uh, if this has been helpful and you enjoyed the video give it a like and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!